it's Kaylee from Soyin Che and thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be making a loaf of soap using Italian summer fig from Aroma. It's a sort of green fragrance. It has leaf green, lemon, fresh fig, green grass, amber and jasmine in it. I'm just prepping my soap mold here. I get these from off of eBay and I do leave the link down below. And um, all I'm doing with my silicon liner here is I'm just putting a little bit of petroleum jelly along the edge of the box, which then holds my mold in place while I pour the soap. So we've got that in there, and now we're gonna go and get the soap made. Right, so I have my oils in my bucket here all ready to go. They've come down to room temperature, and I also have my lice solution, which has had some tussar silk um, dissolved into it. I'm going to do a mix of an in-the-pot swirl and a drop swirl on this one. I'm going to do an in-the-pot swirl using some really red mica from Nurture Soap and a little bit of Berry Bliss from Bath Bomb World. And then I'm going to do a drop swirl with just a little bit of Caribbean mica. So the first thing I'm going to do is pour my lice solution down my stick blender into my oils and I do that just to prevent any splash back at me. I'm going to mix it up and then separate it out for those colours. Okay, so I've not heard anything about this fragrance, so I'm just mixing it into my white first. It appears to be playing quite well, and it's a really lovely smell. I think fig always surprises people. I think people think them to be quite a sweet smell when they think of fig, but fig is actually quite an earthy sort of smell as opposed to sweet. I think the only sweet fig smell I've ever come across is fig fatale and that's because it has the strawberry and the vanilla and everything else through it as well whereas any sort of other fig fragrance for me tends to be a nice earthy woody sort of fragrance and I really really like this style. So and it is by the looks of things at the moment playing quite well I'm going to get that spoon out there in case I do suddenly have to start moving quick like I quite often do but I'm just going to mix my fragrance in by hand here I know that this really red mica does tend to move quicker than any of my other micas I'm just going to get that green. This green goes a really sort of dull looking green before the soap saponifies, but once it actually saponifies, it really brightens up and is a really pretty green. So I'm pretty happy with how they've stirred up. So what we're going to do is an in the pot swirl with my purple and red. So I'm just going to pour it in. Pour about half in, then I'm going to come to my red. I'm pouring from quite high just to try and get it to drop right down into the bottom of the bucket there. And come back to my purple. And I'm kind of not going to keep anything um, in this bucket. So I'll just grab my clean spatula here. I'm going to scrape that out. Might just leave a little bit to do on the top. I'll pour some more of that red in there. majority of that out. Now I'm going to go and grab the mould and we're going to start by pouring this in first. Now the only thing is this has stayed lovely and fluid which is great but I did want to make kind of a, a mounded top on this so I may have to wait a little bit before we can start texturing the top. I'm going to just pour from one end and let the soap take its own form there. I've got a fair bit of white left so what I'm going to do now is just get my green, drop it through, now we're about halfway foot through and I'm going to keep a little bit of this green so I can do some piping on the top of this soap 
and then I'll finish pouring that white in as well. Right, so I'm just very gently mixing these colours on the top. I am going to do a bit of a spoon texturing in a second as well. So I'm not doing too much because I don't want to muddy all those colours. But I'm really pleased with how it's coming up so far. Okay, so what I have here is a stainless steel teaspoon. And what I'm kind of wanting to do is just push my soap up onto this one side just a little bit. I have been playing with soap dough again this week and I have made some little figs to go on the top of this one but I kind of didn't want them to sit up too high and I want them to sit down in these little divots so you can see now why I didn't want to play with my colors too much I'm not really liking the top of this at all um, let's see I'm kind of wanting it so that I've got everything mounded up onto this one side. I think I'm going to have to just do lots of little ones across. That's looking a bit better there. Much better. So the idea is I want my figs to sit down in the bottom here and then the rest of this is sitting up nice and high. So I'm just pushing this across. Right, so before I put my figs on the top of here, I'm going to spray it with some um, Celadon Sparkle, I think that's how you say it, glitter from My Micro Obsession. Just going to spray that across the top just to give it a really nice sheen and just bring in that green a little bit more. So it's actually taken me two attempts to get my figs ready for this soap and I will show you the first lot. I'm not going to use these, they weren't quite what I was wanting. Um, I followed some instructions on how to make them with clay and I really wasn't very happy. That is how they turned out and they were quite small um, and I wasn't too happy with how the centres of them came out. So I had another go at making them. I don't know what I'm going to do with those at the moment. But I had another go at making them and this is what I came up with and I am so much more happier with how these ones turned out. They're a lot bigger, so a better size, and the colours were a little bit more truer to a fig. Um, and I've also, the little white bits that you can see in here, they're little Yehoba beads, which I just dabbed on and rubbed into the soap afterwards, just to try and get that sort of seed appearance in them. Now I'm going to start from this end, because that will be my cut edge, and I'm going to pop my figs just on the corner of each of these mounds I think hopefully they're all going to fit other than wanting figs on the top of my soap I had no idea how I was actually going to um, make or do this soap at all so I know that I'm gonna attempt to pipe some fig leaves as well hopefully so I'm just going to pop these on here. Now, one of my earliest, oh that one looks a bit silly. One of my earliest videos, I mentioned that I wasn't shipping internationally. I did say it was because I felt that there was a lot of people overseas who have beautiful products that everyone can buy from. And I also was struggling with finding some decent postage here in Australia to be able to send overseas. Now I have had countless emails and messages either through Instagram, Facebook or privately messaging me, like sending emails through my website, begging me to please ship internationally. So 
I figured if you guys really want it, I will do it. So for the last few months, I have been busily working on the website, trying to get everything set up properly um, so that we can offer international shipping. And I'm pleased to say I have finally been able to finish it. And we are now um, enabling shipping to US and Canada at the moment. And if all goes well, we will open it up to other countries as well. We are using the prepaid satchels from our postal company, Australia Post. And your parcels will actually get boxed up and put into these satchels, which all come with tracking numbers. And it is all done by weight. There are a few things online which cannot be shipped and that includes anything flammable such as reed diffusers and the reed diffuser refills and it also I've also taken the candles out as well and this is simply because some of them um, I just don't want them to break they can be quite heavy and it can bounce around and break other things in the parcel there are also a couple of other sort of liquidy items such as room sprays which have also been taken out um, for shipping overseas. I also, at the moment the mystery box is not available but come, um, what would it be, February 2019, the mystery boxes will also be available for shipping overseas as well because so many of you have asked if I can please ship them over. Now, just with the mystery box, I do offer free shipping within Australia, but unfortunately I can't offer free shipping um, internationally because the shipping actually costs more than what the box actually costs if you paid for it. So um, that one, um, you do need to pay for the international shipping on that one. If you do add things into your shopping cart that can't be shipped, um, it won't actually let you continue through to the, the checkout section um, until you've actually removed those things. Right, so now I'm just going to pipe some leaves onto here as well. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't look too silly here. I'll do um, one lot and then I'll come back and do some more if I've got enough piping on here. So that international shipping for US and Canada is now um, live and available on the website. It is up to you guys um, as the purchaser to make sure that everything is going to get through your customs. I do list all ingredients. If you need any more information, just ask me before you order. So make sure that you know your taxes and your customs for your state or country and then um, all those sort of things are up to you. I do need to put in some um, declaration, I do need to fill in declaration forms when I do international shipping and I'm sorry but I cannot falsify information on those shipping forms um, to reduce taxes at the other end. I do have to consider my business and it would be me that actually gets in trouble if I do falsify that sort of information so um, I can't do that I'm sorry um, but other than that that shipping is all live and ready for you guys to order if you so wish so I'm going to put this second leaf on here I'm using quite a big leaf tip I think it's a 366 that I picked up but fig leaves are actually quite big leaves I'm also hoping that I have got all these completely lined up where they should be so I'm probably going to have to use the single bar cutter to cut this one so we can make sure that I don't slice in the wrong places but Considering I had no sort of real idea what I was going to do with this one, I am very pleased with how it has come up. The only one I can't get a second leaf on is this one here. We might sit him up just a wee bit. That's it. And we'll stick a second leaf in there. Okay, so just to give this a final touch, I'm going to use some of my Extravagance Gold Mica. And I'm just going to... Oh, very... 
liberally by the looks of things put some of the gold over the top as well and that just lands on those leaves and really accentuates those sort of veins and things so I'll bring you down for a closer look so here is the top of Italian summer fig it is really nice and shiny with both of those micas on the top of the wet soap there I'm really pleased with how those figs have turned out and I'm pretty sure we've got them all lined up nicely I am going to leave it sit here for about 18 hours and that green will really pop into a nice bright green and then we'll cut it open and see what we've got on the inside okay so we are back to cut Italian summer fig you can see that green has really changed color and has become a lot brighter than it looked before the soap saponified it is smelling amazing it is so clean and fresh and a really woody sort of smell I really like this sort of smell on here now I have taken my gloves off today but I have actually made sure that they are nice and washed and clean it's only 8 30 in the morning and already the little cricket bugs are chirping away so it's going to be a really hot day and I have had my gloves on a couple of times this morning and they've just got all wet and horrible inside which then plays havoc on my hands so I've decided to take them off for the cutting of this one so I'm going to cut this first one I am using my single bar cutter today just to make sure that I don't wreck any of these figs which I work so hard to get on here this is the end piece this piece isn't so good on that side but that is what we've got on the inside with that little fig on the top there just grab the next piece here so this is the in the pot swirl with that drop swirl on it as well so we'll move this along a little bit more I am so pleased with how these little figs have come up if you follow along with me on Instagram I did post a, a little video of me cutting my figs asking if they could actually pass as figs and it was quite interesting the results um, the part I did post some of the results within a short time of posting the video and of the 15 people at that stage um, I think it was three people had said no and the rest had said yes they do pass as figs and then by the end after the 24 hours when the um, results came up it was something like 12% of people said no they didn't look like figs and the rest said that they did um, it is open to artistic interpretation um, it's never going to be perfect and considering this is only my second sort of time of modeling things from soap dough and this is my first really intricate thing I'm really pleased with how these figs came up I'm also really really happy with the swirl through this as well it is just so busy and intricate and just really really pretty so we'll grab this next piece as well the I think they're pretty much going to be the same sort of pattern all the way through this bar of soap here so I suspect that this bar of soap will be cured by mid January but as I've mentioned in other videos we are going on holiday in January so I won't be posting this until about the 28th of January and as I mentioned earlier in this video we are now shipping overseas um, to US and Canada only at this stage and we do hope to be able to add other countries in as well so if you do want to grab yourself a bar uh, just keep watch of the page towards the end of January and you'll be able to order that along with a couple of the other soaps that I will be making in the next few days that will then also be ready for that January sort of time so here is another piece I'm loving how that green just swells down through the middle and cuts all that pink and purple up so I hope you have enjoyed watching how I've made my Italian summer fig it will be listed as summer fig on the website because um, Italian summer fig actually is a um, a name from another company so I'm going to call it summer fig instead but it does still have that Italian summer fig fragrance oil in here 
So as I said, I hope you've enjoyed watching me make my Italian summer fig soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. If you do have any questions, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel and if you hit the little bell sign, it will let you know the next time I upload a video. I do bring out a weekly video, whether it be soap making or bath and body, and I am working on doing a candle video per everyone's request as well. So thank you again for joining me. I really do appreciate your support. And until next week, have a good one. Bye. Alright, so I'm back. I'm just cutting the very last of the soap here. It occurred to me as I was cutting it that this video is going to be scheduled for release on the Saturday just before Christmas. So I wanted to pop on here and wish you all a very happy, merry and safe Christmas. No matter how you choose to celebrate the festive season, I hope you have a wonderful time with family and friends and all have a very safe one. So until after Christmas, have a great one and I'll see you then. Bye.